I've been doing this thing of power for many, for many years. They don't give it for free. Hey, hey. He now brought money. Instantly, Peter looked upon him. Let me show you what Peter said. Peter saw something that the evangelist could not see. The evangelist was very powerful, but he could not design. Oh, in the times of revival, so many things will be happening. Trust me, which is too will be present. And if the apostolic office is not there with its attendant dimensions of discernment, who accepts idols as Jehovah. Just like in your nation, there are many pastors that are not born again. They just converted Sangoma practice, put on suit, and came to church. And Jesus never sent them. The landscape is going to be mixed until the true apostolic trade draws the plumb line, the line for building and the line where darkness dwells. The days in which we live on the continent of Africa, for so much has been done to disdain the name of the Lord in the name of preaching. And so like you said, you got that word. Purging is coming to the church. Oh, oh, oh. it's coming. And there's going to be a renewal. The hand of God is going to be upon his people. And there will be mighty and swift judgment against the sorcerers. Philip's ministry could not decipher who was on God's side because of the evangelistic embrace. He embraced scorpions and serpents and brought them into the comfort of the house of God. But two brethren were introduced. They had a different form of calibration. Their perception was deeper than that of the evangelist. I want to bring out what, 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 yeah? Okay. Give me a moment. Hallelujah. And now when the apostles which were in Jerusalem heard that Samaria had received the word of God, they sent unto them Peter and John. This was, are you still seeing the uh, chess game? I hope you know the strongest piece on the chessboard is the queen. What's the next? Huh? You have not been playing chess. So this is the king and queen that they're pushing. Of conquest Jesus in the labor room was trying to prepare them to receive the responsibility to oversee an enterprise that was global in scope because he said "Ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you and he shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the air it's a global enterprise so he was preparing them for that. So when you study the book of Acts of the Apostles, wear the glasses, the lens of territory. It doesn't matter what was sitting on the territory before these functionaries come. They topple it. They overtake it. And they establish the seat of their king in the land. Mm. South Africa, I heard your name while I was in the depth of prayer calling on the one that inhabits Zion. He spoke about your land. Yes, that a season was coming for his visitation. Listen to me. It will be a great moment of judgment. Many will fall. Many, many that he has not sent. That have taken off like a tornado to speak for him. And they have done damage to his body. He takes inventory and he takes it into account. And he is about to come with fire in his eyes. There is a potential that this nation has that has been shut down for so many years because of the presence of witchcraft. And God is saying that a season breaks upon the territory where the black hand of darkness that has kept it under siege will be challenged. And the spirit of God, of him that dwells in the light that no man can approach, will do damage to that hand. And a new season will break upon the land. Oh, 
the things I see now, I can't say it in the public. It has to do with politics, it has to do with governance, it has to do with elections. So, I don't prophesy elections. And uh, hallelujah. But I can tell him, I can tell Pastor. I came to tell you that that season has come. Should I speak in parables? Maybe I will speak in parables. Your next election is the most sensitive election in the history of this nation. It's a game of chess. For the two kingdoms we seek to domicile, to, to master, and to best the territory. Watch! Watch and receive wisdom. And if you walk by counsel, the day of the saints will be born. Because the pathway will be made for the son of righteousness to study the affairs of the land. I speak in parables. He that has ears, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. So this game of chess is ongoing in every territory, in every workplace. When you come to the workplaces, you think that the workplace is neutral. You were the only one that did not come spiritually armed. Somebody drank water that was in a bottle that had a green snake before he came to that office. You just came to the office and, and you didn't even pray in the morning. Your only defense was your tie. And that's why your, 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 your promotions are skipped. Your, your elevations are forgotten. Everybody moves except you. And the cycle, the thing goes round, but you are forgotten. It is not because you are incompetent in terms of your service delivery or your capacity for intelligence. It is not natural. You need to switch to the supernatural realm and fulfill the priesthood for which God brought you into that corridor. And mount your altar and secure the gate that God has called you to defend. Until we see life from the realm of the supernatural, you will think it's just a product of education, certificates, uh, opportunities and possibilities.